Welcome back to another Fortnite Tips and Tricks video. This one's all about the new best landing spot in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 since the Midas update. So the most recent update since Midas has now escaped his prison cell in the underworld, the yacht, or aka the Marigold, has gotten a bit of a buff as a landing spot. So now there's quite a bit of gold lying all over the ship and the vault is also open and packed full of gold. And the Midas NPC is here. He sells patch ups for 100 gold or you can buy a purple drum gun off him for 300 gold. But even more notably, what makes it even better is you can also just kill him and he'll drop a blue drum gun for free. We'll get into why this is important later. So there's no longer any guards guarding the vault. You don't even have to collect the key card anymore. So you can literally just go into the main room, break the floor, and be right down to the vault where you're going to get one rare chest, one regular chest. There's five slurp barrels. And there's also two slap barrels outside the door. So once you finish looting the ship, found all the gold, and finish looting the vault, head back up to where Midas was. And if you break the floor at the back, there's this new machine here. This machine is here every single game. And at this machine, for 500 gold, you can upgrade any weapon instantly to legendary. It also sells patch-ups for 100 gold, and it sells a rift for 250 gold. So there's really no point in buying a purple drum gun off Midas because you could just kill him and upgrade the blue one instantly to gold. The only difference is you're not going to have three attachments, but if you buy it, you might not get the three attachments you want on it anyways. I've seen a lot of people recommending buying a purple drum gun then upgrading it to gold and it makes zero sense. You're really just wasting 300 gold every single game. And speaking of gold, the yacht has at least 700 gold on it every game. So if you upgrade a weapon to gold, you can always still be up gold you can always make an extra 200. Now, if you choose to buy the rift, you can actually rift straight to the underworld or to Grim's Gate. And you'll have really great timing to third party the boss fight if someone's already fighting them. But what I actually recommend you do is to not buy the rift because if you just use the jump pads that have always been here, you can fly across towards Grim Gate. That's just a simple sprint and you'll be at a location known as Charon's Crossing. Now you can use the water from Charge Crossing to get the dashes and quickly make it to Grim Gate. But if you are lucky, the shadow briefing to find two buried treasures might be here. And if this happens, your game is going to be really stacked and you are going to be in a very good position to win the game. Also, most of the time, there's also a G-Wagon outside of Charge Crossing. So if this is there, simply just look for the yellow circles on your map and drive to these two locations and dig up the buried treasure which you're going to get a rare chest out of each of them every single time also take note that where one of the buried chests is there is a vault which you can upgrade your weapons which you'll also be able to hit up if it is not locked the second buried treasure is always very close to grimgate itself now these chests are also in the same location every single game so once you get these two chests now you should be right near Grimgate and you'll be having perfect timing to third party whoever's fighting the boss and to make it even better by the bridge here, there's also usually a god chest so that's even more better loot for you. Now as you can see here, I had very great timing on getting here to third party the person who just finished defeating Cerberus. And I was able to take them out very easily to get the medallion and the mythic shotgun all for myself. And now by the time you've got this, those vaults should be opening. So you could go and then upgrade all your weapons with attachments. But let's jump back to the yacht for another second here. So now if you use a Flowberry or Flowberry Fizz, you can also make it to the Underworld for free without having to pay for the Rift. Also take note here, there's a second bunker, meaning you have a chance of getting two bunkers. Or at least one of these bunkers opening. Also if you run up this hill here too, there is a God Chest by a statue right near the back of the underworld. And you should be good timing to third party whoever's fighting Hades. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Big Papa Smurf 187. Don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe. And have fun gaming. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one.